Hey y'all, welcome to Let's Roll Outdoors. Here we are, uh, right on the Elizabeth River, trolling for trout. I don't know if you've ever done this before, but when it's cold and uh, you get tired of just casting and looking for fish, you can troll for these things out here. So it's, uh, here we go, look at that. Got the action started right here. I'm gonna show you how we're doing it. Okay, y'all, so there, it's no secret where we're at, okay? I'm on the Elizabeth River Southern Branch. Uh, you can see with the background uh, what it looks like. And uh, we've hit a few spots already today. We've caught a few trout um, throwing soft plastics. Hold on, I got rods making noise here. Hey, we've been throwing soft plastics, uh, electric chicken color, uh, slam shady, uh, green, all right, good old chartreuse. They've all been working, but it's been tough to find the fish, right? So they've been hanging out right now at about 10 to 15 feet of water, and you'll see them on the fish finder. And that it's an outgoing tide, and we've been fishing the front of creek mouths and drop-offs where it drops in that uh, uh, anywhere from 8 to 15 feet of water and just cruising it, okay? So we've hit a few spots where we've cast it, right? Cast and cast and cast and cast, and we'll catch a fish here and there. Um, but it's like, you know what, let's just go find some fish. So that's what we're doing right now. So I'm trolling, okay? So I, I never really did this before until I moved to, uh, to this Elizabeth River area. And uh, now I've learned how to troll for trout. So that's what we're doing. So I've never really trolled for trout before. I've always uh, went out fishing for them with mirror lures and soft plastics. Uh, but this is just a fun way to find fish, all right? If it's cold out there and, and uh, you just don't know where to find them and you don't know how to catch them, Here's one way you can do it. You just get some rods. Um, we're using some, uh, you know, eight, 10 pound test outfits, spinning rods. And uh, we've got uh, quarter ounce jig heads and half ounce jig heads tied on with soft plastics. Here, uh, let me show you what I got here. Hold on one second. Okay, right here, this is, oh, I'm sorry. I'm all messed up today. All right. So this is what I'm talking about with soft plastics, all right? Right here, we got a paddle tail, it's a Z-Man brand. All right, uh, this color's been producing pretty good today. All right, but every day with trout is different, right? For some of you trout fishermen know. All right, one day it's uh, white, the next day it's green, the next day it's pink. Um, today, it seems like all the colors are producing. We've got one nice big trout, about a three pounder on a green uh, six inch paddle tail, chartreuse color. But this color's been working pretty good too. Um, this is all we're doing. Let me check, let me, uh, let me show you how we're doing this. I'm not a pro at this at all. We're just figuring this stuff out, but it's pretty simple. You throw some lines out the back of the boat, crank it into first gear, all right? Not fast at all. Let's see. Uh, GPS speed is telling me I'm going 2.2 miles per hour, right? You could probably even go slower than that. And all I'm doing is cruising over the drop off that goes from, um, from 10 to 15 feet, all right? And you can see the fish on the fish finder. I'm guessing they're all trout. Maybe some white perch in there, maybe some stripers, all right? But what we're aiming for are these trout. So I'm gonna stop talking, and the next one we hook up, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, film that. All right. All right. Here's what we got running out the back right here. Got four rods. All right. One, two, three, four. And right now they're all just running soft plastics with uh, quarter ounce and half ounce jig heads. And we got different colors on all of them. And right now we're getting bites on all the uh, all the colors, but some days they're a little more picky. And we're just cruising and looking for trout. All right, come on this side, come on this side. Here we go, all right. So the trolling work, the trolling work. We got some, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can keep it on. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Let's watch those other lines in the back, okay? See, and this is where the teamwork comes in. When you're trolling like this, everybody's gotta watch what's going on. And make sure we're watching the other lines. I'm watching the boat. Make sure the wind doesn't blow me into these barges. All right. Just keep your rod tip up and nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. This one looks 
a little bit better or there we go let's see what you got yay show me oh just came off <laughs> little trout there all right and a nice mess fishing with the kids all right let's get back at it we still got a couple lines out the back go we came on the inside of these barges oh man i'm trying to film in oh, oh, oh there we go there's a keeper all right all right i'm not even paying attention here we got a cold one up here and then we got one over here oh shoot he's way back there he's gonna gotta... trying to man the boat and film here here let me show you oh look, let's see him open oh. oh you got one on here too you got one on here too Man, we just came through some right there, boys. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm sorry, folks, for not being the best cameraman right now. I'm trying to steer the boat. I'm trying to steer the boat and catch fish. There we go. Nice one. All right, here we go. We don't. We lost our net a few weeks ago. I haven't bought a new one. And the fish got off. I'm just gonna push pause for now because nobody's gonna be happy right now. And see ya for the next fish. All right, folks, we're checking in here. We just had a uh, traumatic event. Got a line in my face. We had just had a traumatic event on the boat. I had to spare y'all from two teenage boys fighting over who lost whose fish and uh, why didn't you land the fish and etc etc so we're gonna we're gonna try to reset here cruise back through and uh, keep on catching fish but you saw right there we hooked up twice uh, had two good fish on we landed one and then the other one got off so we're just gonna we finally found some fish um, and if we get if we get hooked up like that again what, we, what I might do is bust out the trolling motor and then we'll fish like we normally do just cast and retrieve and try some different lures out maybe we'll put a more a few more uh, keepers in the boat all right but a little heated in here folks mad they lost fish that's right we'll get some more it's just fish it's just fish it's supposed to be fun right it's supposed to be fun all right here we go made another run here through the barge gotta watch the bank over here so if you're doing this and you're the guy running the boat you need to be paying attention to what you're doing there's a lot of structure out here there's other boats and then there's bank <laughs> to get stuck on all right here we go let's see what he's got let's see what we got hold on don't block the view don't block the view oh keeper looks looks like a keeper here yeah there we go nice nice what was that color called the candy corn, candy corn. all right good deal Good deal. Oh, well, let's see. Let's throw them in the boat. Let's flip them in here. Bass, bass fishing style. Just throw them in here. All right, there you go. Oh, I got light line on that one. Let's see him. Let's see him. Let's see him. Woo! Nice. Finally found the keepers. Eating good tonight. All right, throw them in the live well there. I don't know if it's All right, live well with trout. <laughs> Did. Make sure you go through the recording? Yeah. Alright, there's some action here. Oh, that one looks like it's a little more, uh, a little more meat on that one over there. Oh, no, what? Oh, this one's a keeper on this side, too. Alright. Oh, 
Flipped off. Oh, all right, so we got one in the boat. Definitely a keeper. Here, let's film this one over here. And I'm just trying to direct us away from these barges out here. Oh, you have brakes. Oh, he's not that big. He looked a lot bigger. <laughs> he's a keeper, though. All right. Woo, nice one. About two pounds. Show him to the camera. All right, let's roll outdoors. Getting it done today here on the Elizabeth River. Good action today. Good action. All right, folks. I, I just put the camera down. I turn around and... My son says, I got one. So here we go. Hooked up again. All right. You feel like a keeper? Yeah. All right, cool. So maybe, hey, this is the fun thing about this trolling is you can sift through maybe some of the smaller fish and find some of the bigger ones, which uh, looks like we finally did here today. We did this yesterday as well, and we only found the small ones doing this. But looks like, all right, look, we got some coordination back there. Everybody's working together. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, you can see the fish behind me. And I gotta steer the boat. Storming the boat. There we go. All right, that looks like a keeper. All right, hold him up for me here. Let's see him. Oh, look at that one. That one's on like a, like an electric chicken looking lure. Candy corn. Oh, candy corn, all right. There we go, nice. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, action pack, folks. All right, next time I'll hire uh, a film crew out here, all right? Hey, just trying to show you how we're catching some fish out here on Elizabeth River. Maybe you can come out here and do it with your kids, all right? All right I'm going to steer the boat up here, see if we can get one or two more fish on film, and wrap up this video. All right, folks, here we go. We got some action going on. Made another pass. Oh, actually, we got a good one here. Watch out, Joe. Joe, scoot over, scoot over. Here we go. I'm doing the selfie cam. Let's see if he can land it. Go. Let's see him. There we go. That's a keeper. All right. Biting that chartreuse today. Chartreuse looking good. All right. I got to keep driving the boat here. Okay. I just put the phone down, of course. And as soon as I put it down, we got hooked up. Just easy, easy, easy. I got to keep the boat moving. So here's the thing, folks, when you're trolling like this, if you get these nice fish and you're around all this structure, I've got buoys here. I've got a heavy wind. It's blowing, you know, 15 miles an hour today. All right, and let's just take it easy, boys, all right? And this is when, uh, this is when having a net is nice. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry guys, I gotta go. We're getting stuck here. All right, folks, you got no idea what's going on here. I'm, I'm having to put the motor up. Oh, all right. Oh, there you go. We gotta go forward. We gotta get out of this mud. We gotta get out of this mud. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take it easy. All right. Folks, you have no idea. There you go! Nice fat trout right there. Let's see him. Woo! Let's see him right there. That sucker. Took me On a that chartreuse. Okay, it's a chartreuse paddle tail. All right. And filming. I was trying to drive the boat. I'm looking at the fish, and next thing I know, we're in a foot of water getting in the mud. So I had to hurry up and get us out of there. Oh, <laughs> We're going round and round, trying to make sure we don't get stuck over there, beached here on the Elizabeth River. And uh, we just landed an awesome, awesome trail. Uh, hey folks, we'll wrap it up with that fish. Let's see, where's that fish at? He's right here. All right, let's check this fish out one more time, okay? And we're gonna wrap this wrap this uh, video up. But we're trolling for trout right here, okay? Here, let's get the sun right. Let's make sure there's no boats coming out here. All right, so look, we're trolling for trout speckled trout right here this is the uh second week of december all right it's a little bit chilly the water temp is 50 degrees the trout are biting all right but sometimes you just got to find them like we found these guys today we found a few keepers we found a few keepers uh trolling all right and this is a technique you could try with your families all right you don't have to just get your kids out there and just be bored and casting 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 and and maybe not getting any action but yeah troll the river 
check these drop-offs, try different lures. If one, uh, if one uh, color doesn't work, try another color, and then you just keep rolling through these areas. And all of a sudden, you might find some keepers. All right, so that's, uh, that's it for today, all right? Trolling on the Elizabeth River, catching trout, speckled trout, and uh, just gonna wrap it up with that nice big one, all right? Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll keep making videos. Hopefully, you keep watching them. Just trying to sell, uh, share some uh, fun family outdoor adventures, all right? Get out there and make some, uh, you know, some fun, fun adventures of your own. And, uh, you know, good luck in the woods, tight lines on the water and all that stuff, all right? All right, so we're going to get out of here. We're going to keep fishing, um, but that's what we're going to wrap up today's video with that fish right there. You can't beat that. I'll tell you what, if we beat that, I'm going to start filming again. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, y'all. Let's roll.